We like to say that bonfire doesn't burn, but the Aggie spirit does. Few places on earth could draw a large, somber crowd at 2.42 a.m. But Texas A&M University is like few places on earth. Exactly two decades ago, one of the greatest traditions that generations of Aggies ever had the joy of experiencing turned tragic. It's been 20 years. I can't believe it's been 20 years. I graduated from A&M two years before Bonfire collapsed and moved away from College Station just days before. Back in the day, the biggest rivalry in all of sports, if you ask me, was between Texas A&M and the University of Texas at Austin. And Bonfire was just this epic pep rally that we would hold every year right before we played what we call TU. This huge stack of logs that had been built for months on end was set on fire. You cheered, you yelled, you partied, you had so much fun. And you could just watch that Aggie spirit erupt. And I don't think any of us ever thought it could potentially fall. This is a tragedy that no one had any idea was coming. This thing has the kind of thing has never happened before. He's one of the students who survived. 12 young Aggies did not. I think the thing that hurts the worst is thinking of the potential that we lost in those young men and women. What if the person who could bridge these deep political divides that we have in our nation right now, what if that person was killed that day? We'll never know, but as Aggies, it's up to us, and as Texans, it's up to the rest of us to just live on in their spirit and believe that we'll go forth every day and make a difference um, in their name. It really comes through how much the school means to you. Absolutely. I, I know it's one of those historical markers for, for, for you, a lot of mm -hmm. people in our generation, but then there's this whole generation of students who, who have come up since then who don't know anything about that tradition. I think that the Aggie spirit does a very good job of telling people what it was like before. And so I think all Aggies currently and those to come will always know what bonfire was about and what it felt like. There is an off-campus bonfire that now happens, but it's not sanctioned by the school, nor will it ever be, nor in my opinion should it be, because there's just so much risk and danger involved. So I do think that Aggies will make sure that future generations always know about it, but those of us who lived it we're lucky. It was really something special. And from what you know about this off-campus one, is it done differently than? It's much smaller, and okay. from what I understand, some serious uh, safety guidelines are followed. Okay. And you know, it's just amazing to me. We were just naive. We never thought, we never yeah. thought that could happen. No, I don't think very many people did. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks so much for that context and perspective, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming, Chris. <laughs>